I've lost two. I've lost two. I'm Chris. I'm Jane. And we're the Boss Stitchers. Today is Sunday, October 23rd, and this is episode 54. Thanks for joining us. Uh, started out as a beautiful weekend in Boston. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, kind yep. of deteriorated mm -hmm. today a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. uh, big weekend, though, in Cambridge and Boston. Oh, yeah. It was the annual Head of the Charles Regatta. And my daughter rode. I think it's her, I think it was, uh, I think her fifth time, maybe, mm. that she had. Uh, she rode in high school and college, and now she's in a club team. So we were lucky that happened yesterday. Yeah. So it was really nice <laughs> mm -hmm. to be outside yesterday. Yeah. But it's always a fun, very crowded event. Yeah, yeah. they do. Uh, they did not. Well, I, did, I w was thinking they didn't do that well. But actually, when I talked to her today, um, she said that um, the competition was very tough this year. Mm. So they were up against college students who... Um, Put in the kind of time in it that she did, I think, yeah. when she was in college. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so they didn't do so well on that. If you have to be in the top half in order to get a guaranteed spot for next year, okay. and they did miss that. Uh -huh. But she said overall their time was about as much as a, the same as last year. So. Okay. All right. But it doesn't. Bad. It doesn't mean they. No, it doesn't mean they can't get a spot, mm -hmm. but it's not guaranteed. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. Great. Um, other than that, I had a little bout of COVID since, you know, we were last <laughs> here. And I'm very happy to say I did not pass it on to my friend Jane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy about that, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I was very lucky. It was really mild. So, yeah. Yeah. All those yeah. vaccines helped. Yep. Yeah, had five of them now. <laughs> so. <laughs> And I got my flu shot this week. So, oh, good. Yeah. All right. Well, you're well protected now. <laughs> Let's hope. <laughs> um, now, I know that um, Missy's daughter, Grace, does not watch us. Uh, but I would Can't just... Believe let, it, I know. I know. I would just like to say um, congratulations to Grace and um, Justin, who recently were married and um, a special um, congratulations to Missy for surviving it all. <laughs> so the uh, pictures were beautiful. Oh, just and, gorgeous. And um, what a beautiful weekend they had. Yeah, yeah. That was terrific. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, Missy, you can, you can pass our congratulations mm -hmm. on to your daughter. And I bet if you watch Two Needles Pulling Thread, you might... See some of those pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yep. And yep. Coming and, up soon. And another wedding coming yeah, up soon. It's gonna be Ashley's yep. big day. Yep. Kathy's daughter. Yeah. So that's coming up quick too. Yeah. Great. So yeah. So what else um, have you been up to? Uh let's see. Um had the kid this weekend. Oh, my, I thought you looked tired. My two-year-old, yeah, my two-year-old niece. And uh, yeah, she's just, she's a daredevil and she's all over the place. And she has a, she already has a, a really great personality. She so does. she's yeah. really, really, really fun. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I was, I was tired. They picked her up this morning and then this afternoon, um, <laughs> We had our craft group. Yes. Um, we had Crafternoon at, at my house. Uh, Boy, so you really it was clean that place up quick, didn't yeah. you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good job. It's like the white tornado. Yeah. Well, Chester helps clean yeah, up yeah. too. Because any, yeah. any food that Harley drops, uh, you know, it, I have him to clean that up. So I don't have to worry about I food. noticed today that he's like dangerously table level now, isn't he? He's terrible. Yeah. 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 Well, he's not. Yeah. He, he, he puts his front paws up on the table and... <laughs> Yeah, so we we have to be very careful. Yeah, yeah. You can't leave anything like close right to there. the edge of the yeah. counter or close to the edge of the table. So, yeah. He was a good boy, though. Yeah, today. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and yeah, he's he him and Harley are best friends. Oh, I so. can see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Each one egging the other on. <laughs> <Right. laughs> 
Uh, and I might, it's might say it. we had a, a delicious cake, Jane. Oh today. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a caramel, a caramel cake. And um, for any of you who have a price chopper <laughs> um, and do your grocery shopping there, um, I highly recommend their yeah. cakes. Um, I'm gonna I was, drive out of my way to get there. Now. I was pleasantly surprised. You yeah. know, um, I didn't have time to make anything, and and. Um, where and I picked up um, my niece, and there was a price chopper, and so I went shopping there, and yeah, yeah it was, it was really very good. Well. Yeah. We're celebrating our 25th year together, our, mm. our craft group of nine, yeah, um, this year. So, a cake a month, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's right, yeah. So, anyway, um, stitching, I have some. Would you like to throw the first <laughs> stitch? I'd love to, okay. <laughs> Oh, well, <clears throat> let's see, where to begin? Didn't get a whole lot done on Cocoa Time. One that I say I am most anxious to finish up for a Christmas present. But um, I did get a little bit of pink things in here. <laughs> so slowly and surely, it's coming along. Yeah. I know I really need a step on it though if um I'm thinking of having this frame, so yeah. I I should have paid a little more attention to that. But it's a Christmas always, present. That's the plan. Okay. Yeah. There's always so many other distractions, you know? <laughs> so um maybe I'll sneak Your in other... a finish here just to okay. sure. um kind of goes goes chronologically in some odd way <laughs> thank you yeah um so this is my sweetest pie coasters oh, from Hershner's. yes and i had a little bit more to finish on my lemon meringue so i did that nice and once Cute. that was all set I moved on to pumpkin pie. So I got a pretty good yeah. amount of that start done. Yeah. Pie's almost done, right? Except for the crust? Yep, the crust and, uh, yep, the dollop there. Oh, okay. Cream. Yep. And then you're right. It's just the background mm -hmm. that I have to do. Yep. So that'll be so, three done. What's three the, done. What's the last one? Three done. One to go. Boston cream pie. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So these have been fun. Some viewers might remember this is my poolside stitch. And mm. Not that I've been at the pool for a while now, and I almost thought of keeping them for next summer, but I thought, nah, I think I want to just go ahead and get them all finished. Then you get to start another pool. That's side right. Project. Yeah. Or if you don't have anything, buy something. Yeah. <laughs> That's always always an incentive. <laughs> And I guess my only other one is um, another new start, not a finish, and but a whip in Norway Spruce Santa, one of the Pine Hill Santas this year. Excuse me, I just bought this at Galleria, and it's where I am so far, mm -hmm. but. See, some of the body, I guess, of Santa done, and a little star on the tree there. Mm. That, that um, one's cute. Yeah. I think that Excuse one's me. my favorite. Yeah, I think mine too. And I do think that will work up quick. Yeah. This is uh, beard like. You know, oh, it's... no, it's really just stitched. It maybe has a few beads on the side, okay. but um, then it's that. Um, it's like tied or yeah, something. Yeah, it's okay. the. Um, I think like you bow. just make a little bow with yeah. six strands of floss or something there. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So that was kind of quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine's yeah. going to be very quick, too. Um, the only whip I have, well, mine's going to be very quick because I did a lot of stitching, but I have some finishes. Yes, so, you do. Um, the only whip I have is um, Temperature Butterflies by Stitch and Mommy. <laughs> I realized that 
every time I show this, it gets a little, <laughs> a, a, a little more decrepit. <laughs> I guess it's but, lucky we're uh, in late October at this point, right? right? Yeah. Well, this is the cover page. I should. I don't know why that even looks like that. Um, do you need the board? Uh, no. All right. I do not. Um, this is on 28 Count Lugana. It's called Glacier, and it's by Picture This Plus. And I, yeah, um, so I finished, I think maybe I've shown the finished August and this is September. Um, uh, I worked a little bit on it. Um, I was working more on some Halloween projects that I wanted to do rather than this. So that's why this has languished a little bit, but this will be um, pretty quick to fill in. Oh yeah. So um, that won't that won't take too long, and then I'll move right into October. Yeah, and you got those pretty autumn colors coming through now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. right. Um, and I've already finished all of my outlines, so I'll, I have um, October, November, and December on the bottom row. And then the last thing will be to, um, I've already put in the back stitching, the antenna of all of oh. them are back stitched. So I've already done that okay. on the ones that I've completed and I'll do that going forward. So that's good. Cause yeah. that could be the kind of thing at the end that would be hard to make yourself, you know, complete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right could stall a project right yeah yeah and this is easy stitching i'm trying to decide what i'm gonna bring to chris and i are going to um stitch in at the farm uh, first weekend of november and um trying to decide what i'm gonna bring this would be an that easy would be a good this would be take. an easy stitch yeah so um all right, that is it for whips. Well, I kind of already shown my one finish there, so okay. you move right ahead. All right, I will move on to finish. You're going to steal the show anyway. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah right. Um, okay, so I decided that I needed to do a few smalls <laughs> because I just needed a few wins. Um, so Jane, you've been I... saying this for a while, so you really came through with this. Yeah, so... Um, I worked on and finished this chart. It's called Long Spider by Anna Lee Weight Designs. You know, and I didn't pick up on the fact that on Instagram that that says Happy Halloween in there. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I stitched this, um, this is just a, I think it's a, I think it's just a 28 count black Lugana. Um, let me take a few of the dog hairs <laughs> off it. Um, so, and I stitched this with um, Etoile, the MC Etoile. And Looks really I, nice on the there. The color that I uh, stitched was um, Ecru. Mm. And so you can see that it does say Happy Halloween. <laughs> and then I I stitched my initials and the date also. And then the spider has two little white beads for the eyes, which I think is so cute. It is. How are you going to finish that, Jane? Um... I'm going to finish it by giving it to my finisher. Well, yeah, that, that kind of went without saying. Um, you going to leave it up to her I think I discretion? Like, I don't know. I think I would just like a little, like a little banner. Hmm, yeah. A little banner wall hanging. Yeah. Like a flat right. wall hanging thing. Right, I think that would be good. I think that good. would look cute. So, that's <laughs> one. And then my second one is um, called Boo, 
and it's from the Mindful Needle Designs, and the designer behind Mindful Needle is um, Dawn Frisk. And if you haven't checked out her designs, she has some cute ones. So I think this is my favorite. Of yeah, it's the Halloween ones that yeah, you did. I like this one. Um, now this one, um, I so this is stitched in um, blah, mascara by Weeks Dye Ooh. Works, um, and there's a little bit of um, green. And uh, French knots for the eyes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Open it up. Yeah. That's all right. And then, um, but I decided to use a fabric that I've had for a long time. Um, this is a 32 count, um, it's an opalescent fabric, and mm -hmm. it's called Ruth by Picture This Plus. Very pretty. And that just screams Halloween. <laughs> And the boo I did in, um, I used color and cotton, and the color is Witch's Brew. So it's kind of, oh, let's get, it's kind of purple. Oh, it is purple. And then for the spider, although you can't see it, I might have to change these. I did put a couple of red beads on for the eyes. I might have to change that though, because you really can't see it. I mean, you can mm. see it close up. Yeah, you can see it if the light catches it the right way. Um, but maybe something a little bigger. Yeah, I try. Well, yeah, maybe. But it's a tiny spider. Mm. So anyway, that was really fun to do. Yeah. Um, and then the last one I did. It's called um, Cute Bat, and I've had this for a while. I got it off of Etsy, and the designer is um, the Stitchy Princess, and she's a Ukrainian Green, designer. Yeah. And I did this on, this is a 32 count, some kind of a gray. And that's the bat. <laughs> that's I have to great. say, when I was working on it, it was kind of odd to work on something that's upside down. <laughs> you know, because yeah, I, cause like I kept wanting, I mean, I kept yeah. wanting to like turn it this way. Uh, yeah. So it was a little bit strange, huh. but I think it came out really cute. Yeah. That's actually a fair amount of stitching for a small it, that is dense. <laughs> Yeah. It's. Um, let's see. It's 57 by 74. So not, uh, not bad, but not tiny. So. Wow. So those. You are ready for Halloween. Those were my finishes. Those were fun to do. Yeah. I had, um, I did have a couple of other Halloween things that I wanted to do, but I don't know. I, I You're think, moving on to Thanksgiving now? Uh, yeah, probably. And I I have to move on to um, my boss me board. Oh, yes. You know, I have a lot yes. on there that I want to yeah, get done. Yeah, up on. And, um, yeah. So there's a couple of other Halloween ones that I really want to do, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I'll do them this year. Yeah. So. Mm. Eh, I got Always time. next year. I got time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um all right now come the ffos well i might as well go first because you got more no i only have one. Oh, you do yeah oh i'm, I'm only go doing ahead one then. oh okay <laughs> <laughs> all right um i have one ffo <laughs> And the word is out. Um, this is the My Fanny um, chart. It's Santa Collection number three. And I'm not sure if I showed this as a finish. I think I did, maybe. But um, mm. anyway. Yeah, I think you probably did. Yeah. Because we did it once after Anyway, now yeah. it's, a f it's fully finished. And it is adorable. Look at how cute that is. Isn't that cute? 
And look at the fabric yeah. on the back. Yeah. This is actually um, a flannel. flannel. Yeah. And nice work, Janet. Yeah. I really like it because it's um, it's a different Santa than you usually see. Right, right. It's like a, it and it's, it's, it's bright, vibrant colors, yeah. but the blue is what really stands out. Yeah. 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 So I like that green and red against it, too. I do, too. Yeah. So very, very nice job. Yeah. So thank you, Janet. Um, this will be my... Um, this will be for my smalls exchange for stitching at the farm. Um, so uh, I hope whoever gets it likes it. Because I think it's cute. It <laughs> what do you have? Well, I also was the lucky recipient of Janet's handiwork. <laughs> and this is Prairie School Santa 2018. And oh, I love this one. Love horrible. that snowman and the bunny and mm -hmm. and again Janet used this wonderful um why can't I think of it? Flannel flannel. Mm -hmm. Flannel, yeah, flannel. Yeah. yeah. Um that like just screams Christmas <laughs> and it's so nice and cozy. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, this will be in my nice daughter's stitching. advent box. Very nice stitching. Ooh, that is a fun one. Mm. Yeah. Now, usually I start one uh, Prairie School Santa when I'm done with the last, but mm -hmm. I haven't, haven't gotten to the next yet. But I've got well, some candidates. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. All right. That's it for me. Um, you want to go on to haul? Yeah. Well, actually, let me sh let's do um, random acts of kindness. Oh yes, we were lucky in that too. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the last time I was at the World in Stitches, my friend Tracy um, had a bunch of um, scissor fobs, and um, told me to pick one so I had a really hard time trying to decide which one I like better um, but I was in the Halloween mood and um, so she she and gave nothing me says this. Halloween like Tracy anyway. that's right <laughs> so we got the skull mm -hmm. we got a uh, bead here and then the skull and then the raven um, at the the bottom, let me see here, sitting on top of a skull that says, beware of the night. <laughs> so it's great. Yeah, it's really cute. So thank you very much, Tracy. I love it. And I've had it on, I've had it on my scissors. Uh, and, yes, and yes, it helps me keep track thank, of my scissors. Thank you, Tracy, for that. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it on my scissors since so she gave it to me. It <laughs> and we got a lovely thank you note from Susan, mm. who was um, a recent winner of um, a giveaway. And this was very thoughtful, Susan. Susan included some postage. And we each got a set a set of these lovely pins mm -hmm. and charms. These are so pretty. The 2022. Yeah. It's really nice. Really unnecessary. Yes. But, but, but appreciated. We're, we're grateful yes, all the Very same. appreciated. Yeah. Thank you so nice much. Fall theme. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and I, I, I know, let's see, I have some smalls that I think. I think you uh, do, yeah. Uh, yeah. And now I'm really motivated to get some finished. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, maybe I should move along with Hall. All so right. I don't have much. All right, go ahead. Yeah. So, I don't believe I showed these last time. These, these were recent, and they were um, a Joann's fabric purchase these little dimensions kits and as you can see they were on sale and what I really liked about them is these finished hoops that they come with mm. and my grand plan so is they have a pattern on them the, the hoops yeah oh, yeah so they have a 
the fabric covered and yeah um they you know are like kind of a quick little complete thing mm -hmm. i think i will that 14 count ada so i think i'm gonna just swap out that fabric with i'm sure i have a basic small piece of 28 or two hanging around <laughs> and um i think i'll be like really nice quick an expensive finish. Mm -hmm. That's my plan on that. Awesome. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, want to do the board? Sure. So I got my um, I got my I'm a um. Oh. Floss of the Month member for Color and Cotton. And these were the October threads. Getting you ready for Christmas. That's right. Uh, Santa's Boots. Mm. And that's only really nice. That's sort of a gray, isn't yeah. it? More than, yeah. yeah. Yeah, nice dark gray. Um, this is called Rudolph. <laughs> That's great. And Sleigh Ride. Are these new colors, do you think? This one oh, is... The, I'm that, showing this, them, am I? Um, let's see. This one is a special edition. Oh, what yes. Oh, I think they all are. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I was going to say, never, never yeah. seen these or heard of these. And Frankincense. Is that what Frankincense looks like, Jay? Well, is that what it smells like? <laughs> <laughs> and then eggnog. Ooh. Yummy. And we have cherry cobbler. I love that red. I love cherry cobbler. Yeah. Yeah. That's in uh, my cocoa time one. Ah. Um, this is nutcracker. Hmm, it's kind of a cool color. Yeah. And laurel wreath. Kind of a green. Mm, darkish green. Yeah. Kind of like a dark olive green almost. Yeah. And then holly. Mm -hmm. Nice. And finally, uh, tinsel. Woo! <laughs> so yes, getting ready for Christmas. Yeah. All the Christmas yeah. stitching. Yeah. Nice collection. Yeah. Yeah, they do a yeah, great job. They sure do. All right. I saw on Instagram there. Um, I think it was probably these two. And they also had a just kind of a bright variegated um selection. Those were really uh -huh. pretty too. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um, I get the all colors. Okay. So, yeah. The right. spectrum. The spectrum, yes. Okay. Um, and then uh, there was, there's been, um, there's something that I've uh, wanted on one, two, three for a while, and um, I've been waiting for it to go on sale. Mm -hmm. There's these um, stitch pillows, and they have a, a cow, a bear, and a rabbit. And the rabbit never went on sale. And then finally, it did. So this is a Riolas kit, and I bought it. I think a lot of people and... must have been like you and liked the rabbit best. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you had to wait for a while. Yeah. Yeah, so um, it comes with um, all of the um, materials to make the pillow. Um, so the ears and the backing, and it comes with a zipper, and, and it's a, you know, a full kit. Um, and it's, um, it's wool, um, wool and acrylic, and um, so I've never stitched with it before. So we'll try it out. Yeah, it is very cute. Yeah. I wonder who that's for. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's probably for um, 
Carly's um, college graduation. Yeah. Gift. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure she'll appreciate it. <laughs> and then um, this one I've been wanting for a very long time. Uh, everybody who's anybody is doing it. So I finally um, got be thankful. I think I from, rubbed off um, on you, Jane. From Pine Mountain. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. And um, yeah, Missy stitched this and yeah, I can't get the glare off of it. Sorry. But it comes, it's a, it's a pillow. It comes with everything that you need. And you know, that is one of my favorites. The, the yeah. I have Wondrous, too, and I'm going to do yeah. that one, too. So this one might be um, a small that I do very soon. Yes. Yes. Be a good one to you do get that finished by Thanksgiving. Yeah. And then um, Cottage Garden Samplings just came out with um number 11 in um their a year in the wood series and i thought this was really <laughs> cute it's the beaver i love that pattern on his tail <laughs> i i know yeah and i love that it's fall like the fall leaves yeah yeah um, and then i just saw that they came out with um the deer oh and that one's kind of cute too so um Aren't they the ones that did that turkey? Is that Cottage Garden? You Garden? know that one that we were looking at at Silver Needle, the Galleria? Oh, yeah. I think that's them. I but think it is. That must be a different... It's probably a different series. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of looks so much like that, yeah. you know, but... Yeah. So, um, yeah, be starting that sometime soon. Maybe. Um, I am in the, um, Crazy Annie's, um, stitching club, um, the 12 Days of Christmas, it's the stocking ornament club, and, uh, they just sent out 10 Lords of Leaping, so there we go, you can hear the rain, yeah. Um, and then I was at, uh, the World in Stitches a couple of weeks ago, and this was in the sale bin. <laughs> How could I leave this? Yes, and, um, you know, of course I thought of my friend Chris, um, but this is Prairie Schooler book number 28, and it's called Stockings and More. And you there are the stockings. And there's the more. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be a cute Santa to do. Yes, it would. I like that one. So yeah. let me know when you're ready. All right. Okay. Thank you. Um, the last bit of my haul is um, last time um, I talked about uh, going to Alaska um, on a cruise and we stopped in, um, we stopped, we had many places that we stopped, but, uh, in Skagway, um, I went to, um, a quilt store and it was called Russian Tailors, um, Quilt Alaska. And here's the little thing here. I'll put, I'll put them in the description box. Um, they have a website and, um, a phone number. Um, and I bought a couple of pieces of fabric there. They didn't, um, have any cross stitch, but, um, I bought a, some fabric that I am, um, commissioning the owner of Studio 88 West to make a bag for me. So that will be coming at some point. Um, and then we went to, when we went to, uh, Juno, there was a shop there called Changing Tides and they had lots of fabric and they also had, um, cross stitch, um, charts. So, um, I bought a couple of charts there and... Uh, I don't know if any of you know the artwork of Sue Coleman, but 
she combines um, the um, the artwork of an animal along with it, um, uh, like the artwork of the Pacific Northwest. Mm -hmm. um, and the, I don't know if you call it like a symbol or I'm not sure what you, what you call the, um, the spirit animal, I guess. Um, anyway, this is called um, Bear Fishing. And what she does is you can see that this is the bear and then this is the artwork or the representation mm -hmm. of the bear. Um, so I got that one. And then I liked this one Ooh. too. And this is the uh, raven. And this is called Native Raven. And... I thought that was really nice. Yeah. yeah. This is very glary. There we go. So I like that. And then I also bought, um, I have some cards that when my husband and I went to the um, uh, Canadian Rockies, mm -hmm. she also does um, cards and artwork. Oh, so I bought okay. some cards that I will have framed. But I've never seen like this one or the bear in a card yeah so i thought well i could stitch this i guess yeah <laughs> I, I like that actually in the dark fabric too yeah <coughs> yeah uh let's see let's see she this is on uh blue spruce mm. so i think i have a piece of blue spruce wow <laughs> <laughs> next you're gonna tell me you have all those dmc's yeah no that'll never happen <laughs> that'll never yeah. happen um <laughs> Mm. And then I bought a couple of charts um, at this same um, same store, um, Changing Tides. And, and I was while I was looking at the cross stitch, I just have to tell you this. So <laughs> my godson was in the store too, and um, so he took a video, and I'm gonna I'm gonna insert it because it's really pretty funny. So. <laughs> And it's the first line of the video is, um, here's the wild Auntie Jane in her natural habitat. <laughs> A wild Auntie Jane in her natural habitat. She is very picky about what she wants. Oh, looks like she's found what she's been looking for. Predator her with her prey. <laughs> so, he did do a really good job at that. <laughs> um, so anyway, so I'll, I'll put that in. And then I gave him my phone and I said, go around and take some video. So I'm going to insert some of that video too. But if you get motion sickness easily, <laughs> you might want to look away. <laughs> I don't have one, but Stitch markers right there. I know what this one is. I might just change my mind and do a cross stitch. I haven't done a cross stitch in a long time. And this is something you can do. Oh, I mean, yes. that goes in the yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Are you all set? Uh,
Anyway, this is um, room risk. this is Totem Village, and this is uh, Meredith Mark Designs. Now, Meredith Mark does, is no longer a designer, um, but there are still some of her charts out there. And there's Totem Village. And then this is very mm -hmm. similar, but this is also called um, Totems. And I thought that this was nice. Wow. So that was um That's pretty good you found all those. Yeah. 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 I like yeah, uh, these I like these. They they were, you know, it's a nice um memento yes. of the trip. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um my oh I, I should so uh, my nephew, um actually if you if you have listened to a, um our last floss tube you would know that um we had a you did not get there easily we had a really alaska. hard time getting to alaska <sighs> and after we came back and after everything that we went through and not being able to get on the cruise because um they wouldn't test my godson uh funny you know, sort of ironic um, situation is that other people that we were going to go with that um, actually went on the cruise, we weren't traveling with them, you oh, know, right. but they, okay. like, we we knew them and yeah. they, were, they were going on the cruise. Um, the mother of one of the women on the cruise got COVID. So, I mean, after... You know, right? Yeah. After so many restrictions <laughs> yes, and you know yeah. everything, it yeah. ended up that somebody got COVID on the cruise anyway. Mm. Just I just very ironic. Yeah. Um, so then we went to um, the the third store, the third shop. Oh, and I bought a lot of fabric at Changing Tides. Also, not only cross stitch charts, but I bought fabric, and there will be a couple of bags. From fabric, for, yeah. All right. And then they let you go to a third cross stitch shop. That's pretty good. So, well, there was one in <clears throat> Skagway, and then Juno, and then we went to Ketchikan. Okay. And right. Ketchikan, it's a very minimal group you traveled with. Well, I went by myself. Oh, okay. you know, I mean, they yeah. didn't. Fought, you know, they eventually kept caught up to me, you. but yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, but they didn't go to Made the, sure they didn't go on to the, the one in Ketchikan. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, um, uh, so when I went to the fabric store in Ketchikan is called Whale's Tail. And, um, so they had a bunch of fabric. Uh, they didn't have any cross stitch, but I had to buy a few pieces of fabric, you know, and, uh. I was I was telling one of my friends that um, 
we used to make fun of one of our quilter friends for having like a whole closet full of full of fabric and you can easily see i mean it's like yeah. cross stitch oh, you can yeah. easily see how, how you can just you know stack up and oh, you know yeah. oh, cause that's pretty oh that's pretty oh give me a you know give me a a uh, fat quarter of that. Right, Give me right. a, you know. So, um, yeah, you can easily Hard to see how. Yourself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can see yeah. how that would be. Yeah. So, um, anyway, you'll see some. You'll see some bags that uh, that will be coming too. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll throw in um, a couple of videos that I took at at um, a couple of the shops, and I'll list their, um, you know, their store That's information safe. below. I'd like to say a thank you to Dawn of Whale's Tale for allowing me to um, video in mm -hmm. their inner store and uh, um, also um, the uh, Changing Tides um, uh, staff were, were also very nice. So um, Great. that is all I think I have. All right. Well, we do have some plans. We definitely have plans. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be stitching at the farm. Mm -hmm. well, yep. I guess we'll be home, actually, two weeks from today. But <laughs> right. over right. the next two weeks, we'll be there. Right. And yep. we hope to film there like we did last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really looking forward to that nice group of people yeah. and great location, incredible mm -hmm. food. Mm-hmm. Randy from the World of Stitches will be the shop that's there. Yep, yep. And mm. there's going to be um, oh, a special some people. Um, we're going to do a start along. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's called. We're going to do start the chart. Live on little, and who's that by? Plum Street. Okay. Yeah. Live on Little yeah. by uh, yeah, Plum Street. And I need to see if I can find a piece of fabric for that in time. Yeah. So I ordered the chart. I don't know if I'm going to have, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stitch it though. Um, I might not have fabric for it, but uh, anyone going? I think, I think you and I, if we do the stitch along, we'll still be stitching on it next year anyway. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, I have to find some projects to stitch at the farm because yeah, I want to do something yeah, easy, something <clears throat> something I can fill in or something I can stitch pretty easily. So I have to find some um, something for that. And um, what else? I don't know. I think that's my main focus for now. Yeah. 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 Kind of keeping along a maze, and is he safe? I'm in something that we can kind of easily stitch on there. Mm -hmm. with big blocks. Yeah. And I um. Now that I've stitched a few smalls, I'm mm -hmm. going to go back to my boss me board and stitch on some of those, so I can because hopefully get a bingo. We'll be hearing from Kathy pretty soon. Very soon. <laughs> yes, we will. November's around the corner. Uh -huh. we'll, we'll pick four more numbers. Yeah. 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 So um um so for anyone who is new, um thanks for checking us out 
and to all of our uh, people who have been watching us for a while, thanks for coming back. And um, again, we will see you in a couple of weeks where we will be in Troy, New Hampshire at the farm. Mm -hmm. So um, until happy then. Happy Halloween. Oh, yes. Happy Halloween. Stay safe. And um, I wonder how many people out there have already eaten their Halloween <laughs> candy and now have to go out and buy some more oh, for the kids. I've done that so many years. <laughs> And I noticed Dave just put Halloween candy on the list. And I'm thinking, like, can we even be trusted for a week to have that? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> All right, so we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Until then, take care. Happy stitching. Bye-bye.